Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this new Progresso Spice It Up soup. This one is the spicy chicken tortilla soup and it is a medium heat and that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, we bought this at Walmart. It was $1.68. Not too bad for soup. Um, it is a 18.5 ounces or one pound 2.5 ounces or 524 grams of soup in this can. Calorie wise, it is 90 calories per half for one cup or half the can. 190 if you drink if you eat the whole can, which that's not bad at all. 190 calories for them. I don't know, which is sodium is really high. Um, yeah, 14 something. So definitely not low in sodium, but the sodium usually is pretty high in, in these soups. So anyway, um, and there's the other information. Whatever you want to do with it, there it is. So you can do this in the stove. The stove top, you basically just pour it out in a, in a pan and you heat it up. Of course, we don't use the stove. We use this is the microwave here. So you can do it in the microwave. So you're going to heat it covered in the micro in a microwave safe bowl for two to four minutes. Uh, I usually just do two and a half. It's usually fine for my microwave. Um, careful, it's going to be hot. Leave it in the microwave for one minute and then stir. And if you have any leftovers, make sure you make sure you refrigerate them. Don't just leave them out. So let's see what it looks like. This one feels like a more liquidy soup than um, than a thick soup. Lots of corn, lots of beans. Yeah. So I'm gonna scrape the rest of this out of this can and uh, get it in the microwave. I'm gonna put a paper towel over top of it. Get this last bit of it. I'm just gonna put a paper towel over top of it to keep it from splattering because it will splatter everywhere. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna cover it with a paper towel and uh, heat it up and I'll be back. Okay, here it is on the microwave. I wanted to show you the paper towel. Um, you can see without covering with the paper towel, it would have splattered all over the microwave. So make sure you put something on top of it to keep it from um, splattering everywhere and popping and getting stuff. I mean, you can see, look how much that splattered up. So make sure you cover it, just like they said. So I haven't stirred this yet. It smells really good. Just It smells very uh, peppery, like peppers, peppery, like green and red peppers, pepper. So I'm gonna let this cool off. There's a hunk of chicken. Um, so I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and I'll be back. I gave it just uh, like a minute to cool off. So I've got a piece of chicken, corn, beans, potato, um, tomatoes, and I'm sure there's some pepper in there too. I can't tell. Maybe an onion. I don't know. Here we go. Still hot. Whew. Spicy too. Wow. Whew. When they say spicy, they mean spicy. It's not quite, um, you know, flaming hot Cheetos uh, spicy, but it's um, it's definitely got some kick in there in, in the back of your throat, roof of your mouth. Um, it really gives you some burn. Flavor-wise, well, truth be told, I can't taste much of it. It's just all heat for me. Um, what flavors I do get is like peppers, like. Um, like spicy peppers. And it says it's got tortilla. I don't see any tortilla in here. This is just, normally that has something sprinkled over top, like actually corn corn chips almost like things. But um, it is spicy. The second bite wasn't quite as bad as the first. It's, I guess my mouth is shocked the first time. Um, the flavors are literally peppers. That's what's coming through. Now just then I got a bite of like two beans, the black beans on there. And I, I could taste the beans when I actually very specifically have them on my spoon. But if I don't, they kind of blend in with the overall uh, flavor of the peppers. Um, the chicken has a good texture to it. It's very tender. It's in like little rectangles or cubes, um, which is a little strange. It doesn't seem natural, but I mean, it's probably just chopped up. But the textures are really good. Um, and the beans are cooked well, they're good and soft. They're not like mushy mushy, but they're soft, but they're not hard, which I don't like a hard black beans anyway. Um, if you like spicy food, I think you'll enjoy this. It does have a little spice to it. It's like you've put, um, you've made um, regular the chicken tortilla soup and you've added like a bunch of hot sauce to it. That's what it's like. Uh, for me, it's a little too hot for me to really enjoy. It's, it doesn't taste bad, but the bad thing is for me personally, is when I'm eating it, 
all I'm tasting is the, all I'm getting is the heat and a little bit of the, uh, the peppers flavor, but I don't really get any of the chicken, none of the, um, the soupy part, the broth part. Um, occasionally you'll get a bean flavor, it counts on how many beans you have on your spoon. Um, that's about it, you know, it's just, that's what I'm mostly getting is heat and spice, like peppers. Um, so, um, for me, it's gonna get, you know, I don't think it's a bad soup. I'm gonna give it a three out of five, but it's just a personal choice for me, it's too hot. I know it says spice it up, so I should expect hot. So, uh, but I wanted to tell you how hot it was. And um, it's not that I don't not enjoy spicy things. I enjoy spicy foods as long as the, the spice is balanced well with the flavors where you can actually taste things and get the heat. I like those. This one's pretty much just all, all one thing. It's all just spice and peppers. So, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I am gonna stick with a three out of five. I think that's fair. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.